All right, here we are with our next Twitch live stream event. Here, streaming Soul Hunters, the all-new action-packed role-playing game from Kick9. This game is currently live in Canada in our live Canadian test. And we're going to be doing a little live stream event today and a bit of a giveaway for all folks that are watching. So, um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. We're going to play some uh, campaign modes, talk a little bit about the game, what the game is, how the game plays, what it's all about, what all the buzz and hype is about, and uh, have some fun. You know, showcase some features, and uh, have some fun in the process. So we're going to be sticking around. This is going to be a pretty short stream today, only about 15-20 minutes or so. But uh, we are really excited about this new game and about showcasing uh, this new content to all of you, our Kick9 fans. If you guys are fans of collectible card games or card battle games like NBA AllNet, uh, there's a lot of elements of that that are in Soul Hunters. Uh, in Soul Hunters, you are a commander commanding a team of heroes that are fighting to defeat the darkness and to lift the curse from the land. Let's see here. Right now, I'm just doing a, a regular little battle, and I'm just uh, going to get this cleared, and then I'm going to showcase some of these cool features in the game. As you can see, there's some really great art, some great voiceover work. We've uh, worked with some top-tier voice acting talent to make this a reality, and we're really excited about this game. Oh, shoot. I might die. I should, I should have done that earlier. I didn't use my power-up attack fast enough. I might die. Oh, good. I just charmed their main man, their main hero. Nice. 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 Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't die. Attack. Nice. I got another special off. That's good. That might make the difference. That might make the difference. Awesome. Awesome. That was a win. Victory is ours. Awesome. So as you can see, um, actually, hang on. Soul Hunters. Oh, man, why am I having this connection issue? As you can see, it's still in this beta. <laughs> uh, we're still having some issues here and there, but we're working really hard to get it all cleaned up and get this live to you guys. If you are in Canada, you are able to participate in our closed or our open beta. Uh, it's only available on Android right now. We are going to be releasing it on iOS within the week uh, or two. So we're really excited about that and getting this content out to you guys that are in Canada on iOS. Oh man, this connection server issue. Why am I having that? Uh, why me? Come on, connect. Network, network, network. My network's fine. I was just on. In fact, I still am on. There we go. Can you send a picture via Twitch? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Alright, here. So let's go back to the game. So what is Soul Hunters? As you can see here, this is a full world that has been cursed by the darkness and these evil bad dudes. And we, as heroes and champions, have to gather all the heroes to the light to defeat the darkness and to defeat this curse and uh, raise the curse from the land. Yeah, it looks like we had an internet issue here. Um, all right, cool. So I'm going to do a quick draft to get some, some free goodies here and get a little draft. As you can see here in my draft, I just got a golden screw, which I can sell. And in my super draft, let's see what I get, or, or diamond pole. Ooh, tri-spirit orb. That's a good crafting material. Um, and I'm going to do an open 9, or open 10. Let's get 10 of these, take a look at what I get. As you can see, I get gear. I got a shield, boots, helmet. I even got some hero souls uh, for Selene. That's not bad. So let's go back. So what does this mean? How does this work? Well, let's click on heroes. Here's my roster or lineup of heroes. I got a, uh, I got about 8 heroes right now. It's not too good, but it's not too bad. I got my, my starting 6, the 6 guys we start with, which is Gale and Flora, Amber, Elric, Selene. Oh, that's just 75. And then I've also unlocked Torsen, who's an awesome, awesome dwarf and tank, one of the best in the game. Mariana, who's my backup healer. And this game is Soul Hunters. And I also unlocked Boomer. He's not bad. He, he's an interesting character. He's good in a tight spot. He, uh, he's a good range attacker. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to the game 
in the uh, in the Twitch chat right now. If you give me just a second, I will get that for you guys so you can check this out. Uh, but once again, the game is live right now in uh, Canada on Android, and it is called Soul Hunters. So let's go back. So I'll, I'll put that, that link in Twitch in just a second. Now here I'm going to sell those golden screws I just got. I'm going to the shop. I'm going to buy some gems, buy some potions, some puzzle pieces, which I'll show you what those are for. A dagger, a soul stone, and a wand. Well, why do I need these items? Why do I need this gear? Ooh, daily login reward. I better claim that. Awesome. Alright, so why do we need that stuff? Well, as you can see here with my heroes, different heroes you can equip different gear to. So on Flora, here I have this jam, a couple books, a magical staff, but I'm missing a few things. I can't continue to level her until I craft and or earn some of these items. So I can't get this item yet because I haven't gotten that far in the game. But if you go to some of these uh, easier guys like Celine here, I think she just needs to be leveled up. I have this item, but I can't equip it until she's level 29. I have this item, but I can't equip it until... She's level 40, uh, level 34 in this case. So I'm going to level her up really quick so I can show you how to equip this gear. Uh, and I got some items. There's two different ways of leveling up. Of course, I can play different matches, earn experience. Ooh, I got a daily. I better claim my, my daily prize there. But if you go into your bag and you click on miscellaneous here, you got different items. And I got these 500 of these EXP vials. I'm going to use a couple of those. Scroll down here, click on Selene. I'm going to just keep using these potions on her, leveling her up. 29, 30, 31, 32 is good enough. I don't want to get into 33. All right, so let me go back. Let's see. Heroes, Selene. So the cool thing is now she can use this gear that I have. I just recently got that tome, and now she can equip it. Her stats go up. Her attack went up by 45 points. Now, one of the cool things with these characters is you can fuse them together once you have all your equipment bad example. I'll have to show you later when I have all my equipment. Or you can promote heroes. Um, this is kind of like evolution in all that, where you need to earn different, um, uh, what's it called, catalyst cards. And the catalyst cards you can use to uh, f fuse together your heroes and make them more powerful. Well, here we call them soul stones. And you can take those soul stones together and fuse them to make your character more powerful. But they're a lot easier to get than catalysts. Alright, well let's go back. So, how do we get soul stones? How do I keep playing? Well, there's a couple different things. This is a special event right here called the Caverns of Time. I'm going to do this really quick, show you how this works. I have my, my best team here. i got a tank, a dwarf, i got a damage dealing semi tank, Elric, a range attacker, a, and a, a healer, and a backup support healer. And I'm going to do auto. So, here I'm going to be battling these monsters, taking out some damage, and hopefully getting some cool stuff. After this, I'm going to show you our campaign mode. The cool storyline. That's linked to our campaign mode, and of course, all the goodies you can get there, uh, which is one of my favorite parts of the game. So let's see how if I can uh, pass this level here. In the meantime, I'm going to get you that link where you guys can download the game and uh, check it out on Android if you're in Canada. All right, so here you go. Alright, so I'll just put it in, in a Twitch chat if you guys are interested in checking that out. If you're in Canada and you're on Android, and we are going to have the Canadian iOS build coming out as well pretty shortly. So I just won. I got a whole bunch of goodies. I got 14 prizes, which is pretty awesome in my book. Looks like I got a bunch of EXP vials and, of course, some cheese. Uh, cheese is pretty powerful. I'm going to do that one more time, and then I'll show you that awesome campaign mode. Because I actually really need some of that cheese, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Alright. Awesome. 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 Oh, sweet. More items. I love it when these monsters drop all the good stuff, man. Especially when you desperately need EXP. Um, yeah, and I'll show you why in just a second. So let's, let's see how I go. Let's keep going. Here, at round two of three. Alright, the turtles aren't going to be too hard. My biggest concern right now are those merfolk. Thankfully, I have my ranged attacker that can take them down. There we go. Boom. Powering up my range attack. And it does a heal. And I love her ability, man. Mariana's awesome. She heals, and she does a giant attack. 
It's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. I'm cheesing. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you what the cheese does in a minute. It's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it, it, I know we aren't live yet, but uh, you know, if you guys are in the U.S. and you want to find out more, we are going to be doing a special pre-registration event coming up in the future to give out some free free rewards to anyone that pre-registers. Go ahead and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter in the meantime. It's just uh, facebook.com slash soulhuntersgame or twitter.com slash soulhuntersgame. So it's pretty easy to remember. Go ahead and follow us on social media so you can get in on the action when we go live uh, and get in on uh, all this the, the grady goodies here. I'm going to do a quick battle in the arena because every battle is 10 minute wait time. Uh, the arena is kind of tricky. It's a lot different than NBA All Net, uh, especially since we, well, it's, it's a different style of arena, right? Yes, there's the PvP mode element. As you can see, I'm taking down this other player. Um, but as you advance in the arena, every time your score goes higher and gets better, you actually get free uh, gems, free diamonds, uh, which is really cool. It's a great way to get some free diamonds in the game. So boom, I went from my, my highest rank is now increased. And that's what matters. And I can have my cooldown timer. I can also refresh which, mo which bad guys I can be fighting. And there's also the exchange here. Um, let's see, how much? I have 850 arena points. Ooh, yeah, I should. Ooh, that's Isabella. Though. Do I want Isabella? You know, I'm going to get some Isabella soul stones. You can only do that once a day. I should be doing that more often. That's stupid of me to not be doing that more often. I don't need any of these other items right now, but I definitely need those Isabella soul, soul, soul stones. So I'm glad I got those. I need to do that more often. I'm going to check out the trader. I already bought stuff from the trader. Do I want to do a refresh? Mm, not at this time. I don't have that many diamonds right now. Uh, Alright, cool. So dailies. Dailies is huge in this game. It's huge. Um, cool. So one of the neat things is as you do these different dailies, you get party experience. This is totally different than player experience. So kind of like an NBA All Night where you can't go... You can't increase the, p the level of your team member above a certain uh, level, which is your party level, or team level. Here it's the same thing, but it's your party level. Uh, but party level also unlocks cool features and other nice uh, sections of the game. So here, if I do 10 stages, I'm going to get some rewards. If I complete 3 heroic stages, 3 dojo challenges, which I'm, I fail at all the time. 3 arena challenges, which I just did 1. Upgrade my ability. Ooh, I need to do abilities. Abilities is really key in this game. I always forget to do my abilities. Because uh, one of the things, you can only do 10 abilities at a time. So if I go like this, 3, 4. As you can see at the top, my ability points have decreased down 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I now need to wait 5 minutes to get another ability point that I can put into one of my players. So uh, logging in regularly and using those ability points is a big, big part of the game. Uh, and is really crucial to, to doing. And I always forget, uh, which stinks. But let me show you what this campaign mode is. Oh, wait a minute. I got some goodies. Yes, I got some free diamonds. I'm taking that. All right, campaign mode. Let me show you what campaign mode is all about. So this is Chapter 5. That's actually pretty far in the game. Um, I got three stars and all those. I got three stars. Getting three stars on a mission, kind of like an NBA All Net where you get... Um, Diamonds, if you get a lot. Here it's a little different. If you get three stars in a mission, you unlock. See on the right hand side where it says boss? Next to him, there's nothing there. That's just blank. And that's that's the trick. Um, if you get three stars, here, let me show you one here. You can use what we call sweep. This is huge. It's a huge time sink. Uh, instead of having to go in and play all the different matches, uh, if you want to try to grind or farm a certain item, you can actually sweep. And by sweeping, you get access to that item a lot faster um, because you don't have to sit there, you know, battling over and over and over, uh, which is actually really, uh, really important in the game. So, let me see what I can do here. Let me see if I can get a, a sweep off. Um, let me go back. Let me show you in heroic mode. Heroic mode, like an enemy on that elite mode, is a lot harder, but they've dropped way better items. So, for example. If I go to this mission, I can get soul stones for uh, Gular, or uh, not Gular, what's his name? Uh, I don't remember his name. The orc dude, and there's some other stuff. I'm going to go ahead and sweep this. So by hitting sweep, basically I didn't find any loot. It's like playing the, the game, except instead of getting experience, you're getting potions. And you don't have to sit there playing through it. So I just got all that and all that. Now I'm going to play through it to show you what would happen. So if I actually played it, I would have to go through three rounds, and I'd have to survive. 
But, because I've already survived with perfect once, you can instantly play through it as much as you want. So, yeah. So we're really excited about this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Let's see. Okay, I took him down. So here I played through it. I destroyed a lot of monsters. And let's see what happens. Three stars. I got some a gem. Ooh. How many diamonds did I get? Oh, amethyst crystal. And I got the piece. That's what I needed, a Draco piece. I got one Draco piece. Nice. Nice. Now, I'm trying to get pieces for the characters that I already have. I have her, but I don't really want to go for her yet. There, the Fire Girl. I wouldn't mind getting some of her pieces. Boomer, I wouldn't mind his pieces. Alright. Eh, I don't have like 46 stamina left. Let's find someone I really care about. Fire Girl. Eh. There we go, Flora. She's really important to my party. She's my main healer. Nice! And I got the pieces that I needed. Let me try that again. No pieces that time. Let me sweep again. Ooh, I got lots of stuff that time. Nice, but I only got one piece. But that's okay. That's all I needed. Um, let me see. Is here the shadow girl? Here... Uh, I used her as my... my uh, oh, I can't. I'm out of stamina. I better go get some more stamina or something. Well, let me go into my dailies here. And, alright, I did that. I get some stuff for that. I get some stuff for that. And if I log in between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., yeah, it's not anytime soon. I've got three hours before I can get my free stamina. But stamina does recharge slowly over time. Um, so I can do that later. And, ooh, I can, I can do another free draft. I'll do my free draft. What am I going to get? Come on, a card piece. Oh, no. That's okay, though. I'm going to open 10. I'm going to spend my 100,000 there. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, a boomer piece. Nice. That's what I need. Cool. So I've got a lot of good pieces here. I finished a quest. Nice. Replay that twice. That's a good quest. There's all sorts of quests here. Dark caverns. I should do that. Ooh, I should do that. Replay once. Chapter 1. Dwarf's Castle. Ooh, that'll give me some free diamonds. I should do that later. Alright, so Caverns of Time. I've already done this. You see, I says I have used up all of today's attempts. You can only do that twice per day. And every day it's different which one it's going to be. The dojo is really, really hard. Oh, clicked on the wrong thing, but I'll sell those items while I'm there. The dojo is one of the hardest parts of the game here. In the dojo, uh, every single day it's different. There's four different days, and it rotates through. And on Sundays, you can play all of them. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a... Uh, we're not going to be... So this game is going to be coming out on iOS soon. So uh, we're going to do a, a little giveaway... In, in just a few minutes um, for a let's see what time is it three we're gonna do a giveaway in just a few minutes um, I don't know what it's gonna be yet I need to ask the team but uh, we'll see what it'll be it's probably not gonna be a mythic card probably be some diamonds uh, for NBA all net or if you're playing this game soul hunters if you're in Canada and you're trying it out we'll get you some diamonds and soul hunters if you're the winner of our contest uh, cool cool all right so let me keep going here um, what's this skill? Valley of the Broken Halibur. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a really hard one. Because you see here, the evil gods' remains can be found in the Lost Valley. Blah, 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 blah. They are immune to physical damage. Wizards and warlocks are king. So I need to figure out, who do I have that's magic only? I think I only have two magic wielders, so I don't think I'm going to do well in that challenge. Let me click on heroes. Let me click on Mariana. And look at her stats. Magic hybrid. Massive magic damage. So she's a magic dealer. Magic attack. Alright. My next. Physical. Physical. So I don't want to use him. Physical DPS. Don't want to use her. Yeah, she's magic. No, she's. Yeah, she's magic. And physical, but she's magic. He's physical for sure. And she's magic and physical. So I got three, four magic people. He he's weird. I don't know if he's magic or not. You know what? Let's give it a try. Let's just have some fun. I'm going into dojo. We're gonna try easy mode because I think I'm gonna fail drastically. 
Um, let me take out these guys. So him, him, her, and her. These guys, some of them do only magic damage, some of them are partial magic damage. So let's see how I do against these shields. Physical immunity, physical immunity. Oh man. There's some magic. Alright. There's some charming. More magic. Fire blast. Nice. Okay. So it looks like this team can do pretty good. This magic focused team. Let's see what I unlock. I haven't been able to do this one yet, so we'll see what happens. Five star characters. Oh, I don't have any five star characters yet. Um, so I can't show those off yet. The purple characters. They're really awesome, though. We'll see how it goes. Nice. Nice. Boom. I got that attack off. And just a few seconds. Nice. Nice. Alright. What do I get though? What did I... Five... Hefty War Axe. Fragments of the Hefty War Axe. Nice. Alright, I'll do that again. You can do five... Oh, I don't have any more stamina. Bummer. Well, I'll have to come back to that later. So I showed you guys Dojo. Uh, Enchanter is really tricky. What Enchanter is, is you choose a hero, let's choose a scout, and you choose a weapon, and it says uh, you need to level this thing up, right? So I come in here, and I'm like, oh, I got a bunch of these, I'll put these in, and I get two experience for each one that I put in. And as you increase, 14, 14, 18, what do I not use? I don't use this much. Oh, I got 24 of those. I usually don't like using items unless I have a whole bunch of them. Because you never know. Oh wait, is that a three? Six, seven, oh that's a three. Alright, you never know when you might need an item. So if I hit enchant, it's gonna enchant, it puts one star, and as you can see those green numbers, it's increased my stats by four and by eight. So now I do even more damage, and of course it is a daily as well, so I get some party experience and some void dust for doing so. I'm going to go ahead and use the Midas Touch to get myself some more gold. Ooh, critical times two. Sweet! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, and I get even more. Yes! Level 39. Awesome. Excuse me. Let's see. Current stamina. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Alright, so... I showed you guys the guild, the dojo, the enchanter, the trader, the arena. Has my uh, recharge. Ooh, I can do the arena again. I'm going to go after this level 12 guy, because I think I could beat him down pretty bad. So, we'll see what happens. Ooh, he has, he has some good characters. Man, he really must have drafted well. Those are, oh man, lucky him. Lucky him. But it looks like I burned him down pretty easily, so. No, uh, no harm, no foul there. Cool. Cool. All right, so that's a good victory. Gone up. A, wow, my rating went up big time by doing that battle. Three thousand twenty-two. Man, that was a huge increase in my rating. That was really good. But I still. Only, ooh, I got eighty, which is significantly higher. Wow, that was a lot of diamonds. That is awesome. Alright, cool. So one of the things I haven't shown you yet is the leaderboards and, of course, the Crucible of Fire, which is freaking awesome. It's my favorite part of the game. Um, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. So let's get to that Crucible of Fire here. Um, let's see. Well, let me show you the leaderboards. So this is the leaderboard. As you can see, there's daily leaderboards. Um, there's arena real-time leaderboards to see who's the highest in the arena. So this is a really nice feature that NBA All Night doesn't have. We don't really have like a global leaderboard. Um, this definitely fills that that gap and actually has that. And then of course I can see the heroes, all hero ratings, um, top five hero ratings. These are the highest level guys in the game. 52, the Mad King, McFly. He's my friend. He's level 40. Man, 45. He's been playing a lot. Hero stars. Say same thing. 69 stars, 59 stars. Wow. Here I thought I'm half decent at 38. Yeah, right. I got ways to go. I got a ways to go in this game. Alright, but the Crucible of Fire. This is awesome. And we'll probably wrap this up in just a few. 
Oh, you know, that's something else. Uh, the audio guy is really making you mad. Uh, yeah, let me show you. Well, well, let me show you what I mean by the audio guy. So when you go into Heroes, this is what's really cool. If you click on your hero, you can see their full picture. But you can hear all the voice animations and the voice acting done for each of the heroes. We got some really great audio work that was done on this game. Uh, we're really excited about that. So, awesome. Alright. Alright, cool. So, let's go ahead and go over. I'll show you guys the Crucible of Fire. Do you guys have any questions about the game? Any of you guys, how many of you guys have played it yet? Alright. Yeah, let us, let us know if you're testing it out. Let us know if, if you've had an opportunity to try out the game yet. Um, let me reset. Actually, okay. Yeah, let me know if you had an opportunity to try out the game yet. I'd love to hear your feedback. Alright, here we go. So click on this. Play. One, two, three, four, five. Going with my, my mega team, my master team here. Now, the cool thing with the Crucible, this is one of the best features in the game. You, It's similar to Road to Glory. You're trying to go as far as you can. Um, and But every time you finish a battle, you get a ton of stuff. This is the best way in the game to get rewards, and gear, gold, card pieces, or hero, hero souls, I mean. I mean, this is the best way in the game to do it. So, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second here. So I'm coming in. All right, we just bat finished that battle. It's the trick with this is unlike other games like NBA All Net that have Road to Glory. In Soul Hunters, let's see what I got. Sweet, a hundred or eleven thousand gold and a really rare item. All right, a belt of strength. All right, let me do this. All right, is the difference is that what I'm playing right now, this is not a pre-made team. Um, that the computer generated. It is not a pre-made, pre-generated team. This is an actual player's team. So you're actually like, it's kind of like a PvP. You're playing other teams that are around your same level. But, you don't get a heal between battles. So, and you get, I mean, let me rephrase that. You get a, a small, small heal between battles. But it's next to nothing. You gotta go through the whole battle as far as you can only with your team's heals and what your team has, you got. I gotta optimize my. And I'm doing auto, which isn't the best way of doing it. But like, you know, I should just wasted a heal attack right now, and all my guys are at full. Not the best thing to do. But um, you know, as, as you go from mission to mission, you get a little small, small increase in health, but that's about it. The rest is all up to you. Ooh, it looks like I got a. Yes, I got a hundred gems and two. Orbs. Let me look at show you the exchange. The exchange is pretty sweet. Um, I really need more Marianas badly, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going for. But you can get some really rare items, uh, and these are always rotating out every month. There's different items that are available, and uh, some of these items, like this purple stuff, purple is like the, the rarest, the highest rarity in the game. So the purple stuff is like super hard to get, and you're gonna need that in the later levels as you advance your character. So let's do a few more rounds. Let's see how far I can get in the Crucible of Fire today. I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to get, but let's find out. Let's find out. Nice. Man, that mega attack just destroys the enemies. Victory! Alright, more stuff. I'll show, show you guys the details in a minute. Alright, let's do this one. Attack! Awesome. Boom! There's that Mega Blast. I'm, I'm so glad I powered up that attack. Boom! It just wipes out the board. I, I gotta level that up some more. That's my favorite attack in the game. It heals and it does massive damage. Cool. 
Awesome. So if I hit details here, you can see how much damage. Man, friendly, friendly damage dealt and enemy damage dealt. So yeah, my Mariana is just a beast. She is just destroying, destroying the arena here. All right, let me keep going here. Maybe I should go low. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to my back. Ooh, wait. I got more dailies. I better claim my dailies before I do what I'm going to do. It's going to be awesome. 66 out of 99. Eh, maybe. You know what? Let me do a quick campaign before I go do it. Um, it's going to be really cool. So let's see. Here, no items that I want. Wait, did I already click that one? Okay, I did that one. Don't need them. Oh, this is normal mode, of course. I need to go to heroic mode. Derp. Alright, here, do I need... Ooh, I need Elric. So sweep. Oh, no, no Elric this time. Sweep. Oh, I got an Elric. Awesome! Everything is awesome. Alright, cool. So that's three sweeps there. We come on over here. Click. I need her, but not not as badly as other characters. Same with that one. Uh, what's here? Ooh, dang it. Why did I click too fast? You know, that's right. 33 is enough. Um... I claim my daily. Sweet. Alright, so I'm going to go into Heroes. So my max level right now is 39, and my Marion is only 35. So she has a ways to go. I'm going to go in. Oh, I don't know, Fragments. I'm going to go into my bag. Miscellaneous. And I'm going to use some cheese. Cheese is awesome. It gives you a ton of experience. Boom. So you just gave her two levels. Six, seven. Give her another level. Uh, 39 the max. I'm going to go up to eight. But I want to earn the rest of the way. And I want my tank to be better. Seven. I'll go up to eight with a tank, and my healer can get a little better. I'll go to thirty-eight. No, I don't want to use it on Gale, but I probably should. And I only got six left. I'm gonna use these potions because I got fifty-eight of those. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight, thirty-eight. Uh, well, I use Elric a lot, so let's bring him up to thirty-eight. And you know what the heck? Let's bring Gale to thirty-eight. All right, and I'll worry about my other guys later. Um, Cool. So the good thing is now when I go into Heroes, yes, I can equip new gear, which is going to totally pump, pimp out my stats. Nice. Big boost there. Gale, you are going to equip that. That was a ton of boost there. You got three stat boosts there. All right. So that's yeah, not bad. How am I doing on my souls? I cannot promote. She's only 10 away, which means I can do it in two days. Ooh, I can promote her. I should totally do that. 15, 7, 8, 16 out of 20. Alright, I gotta do that. That's huge. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. So I am blue plus 1 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit promote. Yes. Boom! Hella stat increase. That is awesome. 35 to 47. 3 points on the 4.9 attack. Uh, 1, 2. Wow, that's great. It's like a 0.5 increase across the board. That's good. So I'm like hella buff now. I got promoted big time. So now she has two stars, as you notice, instead of one star. So that's great. So she can get promoted three more times. She can. This is the one I really want to promote her. She, no, not him. Her. She's really awesome. Free as the wind! Nature relieves all pain. The forest will protect us. Nature relieves all pain. All right. Pretty light. All right, cool. So, let me close this out. I increased my level a bunch. How's my, my main level here? Party XP. Ooh, I need a thousand more XP before I can anything. Ouch. Alright, I'll do a quick summoning circle, and then we're going to go ahead and do our, our giveaway in just about five minutes. Alright. Boom. Boom. Uh, crucible of fire. I'm probably going to destroy these guys now. But the, they do get harder and harder as you go. There's Arachnia. She's awesome. She's a really powerful hero. Then she's scary as heck. She's a spider. I hate spiders. <laughs> Boom! Good, I took her down. That's what matters. So, are, are any of you guys that are in the uh, the group here that are in line or in a uh, Twitch chat? 
Are any of you guys in the uh, Canadian beta right now, playing as we speak? What rewards do I get? Oh, 200. Nice. I'm going to go again. I'm going to show you another trick in just a minute. Once I get one of, the, once one of my heroes dies, I'm going to show you another cool trick. That was a massive strike right there. Nice. And there's the heal. Top it off with the heal. Elric's coming... Oh man, I really need to heal him more. I wish there was like a direct heal instead of an AoE heal. Don't get me wrong, AoE is awesome, but I don't, I don't have the skill yet that does a direct heal. There are heroes that do it, but I don't have those heroes yet. Alright, what's this? Boom. Hella money. It's the best way to get money in the game. Let's see if I can take down this team. Nice. 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 Connection issue. There, okay, it's fixed. Alright, that's what matters. <laughs> as long as it's fixed. I want to get credit for my kill. Sweet. So, unfortunately, you don't get experience by doing the Crucible of Fire, but you get some really good stuff. More money. But here comes that purple chest. That's what I need. Purple chest, what's all about? This is battle 9 of 15. I've never gotten past 10, so this is probably the farthest I've ever gotten in the Crucible of Fire. This is pretty exciting for me. This is pretty exciting for me. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Heal fast. Oh, good. Do the blast. Do your blast. Come on, Ariana. There you go. That's my savior right there. Heals team and hella takes down the enemy. Hella takes down the enemy. That's what I'm talking about. All right. What do I get in the purple chest? Gems and exchange tokens. That's what I need. Awesome. I still can't get more into them. I gotta wait for that. Dang it. I gotta make sure I log in daily. Sometimes I don't. I don't log in every day. I log in like every other day. I just don't have the time. I wish I had the time to play every day. All right. Yeah, it looks like most of you guys in the Twitch are in, I are in the U.S. on iOS or Android. It's, this game is going to be available on iOS and in the U.S. and on Android in the U.S. Um, probably in about eh, a month and a half or so, give or take. It all just depends. We're still going through the beta. For, for us, the beta is very important uh, because it gives us the opportunity to help optimize the game, to make it better, to improve areas of the game that uh, need a little work, you know, a bug here, a bug there, uh, helps us to find spelling errors, image errors, just like with our, our NBA All Night game, you know, we had a, a pretty extensive beta for NBA All Night in Canada, and it was, it was a really big success, it really helped us to tailor the game and to bring it to where it is now, and we're really excited about Soul Hunters, about doing the same, the same thing. Alright. Well, it looks like I lost Elric. I might be losing my main tank. That would stink. Now, this might be the end of my my campaign here. Come on. He uses buff. Yeah, I need to be more strategic about when I use my abilities. And it shouldn't be using auto battle. Auto battle's easier, but it's also easier to lose. <laughs> oh no, I lost my tank. Come on, Mariana. Help me out. Help me out, girl. Do it. Boom! That is it right there. Ding, 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 ding. Awesome. Well, I'm not fully out of the game yet, and I'll show you why. And this is what's really cool about the Crucible of Fire. I'll get my little reward. So what I can do when I click on this one and I continue, I need to replace, so I'll put her in. But I'm going to click higher. And this is a great feature with a guild, where you can actually put your characters into your guild 
and people can pay gold to use your character. So I'm paying 15,000 gold to get this level 39 tank. So that user, Shelby, is getting 15,000 gold from me. But more importantly, I got this awesome tank I can use because um, my tank died. So that's a great, great way to... Um, Nice. I charmed their Elric. Oh, that was perfect. I might even be able to get one cure off at the end here. If not, I'll save it. You know, I'm going to turn off auto. I'll use these abilities and hopefully I can save my cure for the next battle. Yes. Yes. Man, I'm going to destroy in this next match. Alright. Nice. Alright, so let's see here. I got another purple. This is the furthest I've ever been in the Crucible of Fire. What is this? 12, I think? Or 11? 13 of 15. Oh, man. Alright, so I got the same team. I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to hit auto. So the first thing I'm going to do is my Mega Blast. Boom, there it goes. She's charging. Come on, survive. Hopefully, my tank. Yes, use your power up tank. Oh, I blasted, but uh, yeah, I did 50% damage to almost all the bad guys. That is awesome. I took down their ranged fire mage. Um, I took down their, their tank. Come on, heal. Heal. Get a heal off. Oh, I mean a charm. Smart. There it is. There's the heal I needed. Yes! My tank just went up in health like crazy. Burn down the goat man. Burn down the he-goat. There it is. Boom. Boom! That is awesome. I'm going into level 14. It's the furthest I've ever gotten in the Crucible of Fire. Alright. Here we go. Right after the Crucible here, we're going to be wrapping this up. We're going to do a little giveaway. And depending upon who wins, you can choose if you want to get diamonds in any of the Kick-9 games. Either in Soul Hunters or in NBA All Net. I'm gonna do a, a th I don't know how many diamonds. I need to. Let me check my email. I already emailed them to see what I can do. Because I already gave out two mythics today. All right, boom. That was an NBA All Net, of course. Okay, that is awesome. Let me claim that reward. Oh, the furthest I've ever gotten. Here we go. This is for all the marbles. Boom. Yes! I get my power-up attack right at the beginning, and an AoE damage attack. Dude, that was epic. That was epic. That was epic. Victory! Nice! I've finally gotten strong enough where I can complete the Crucible of Fire. That was awesome. And the Mega Gold Reward, 400. 60k and three rare sword thingies. I don't know what they're called, but it's blue, and that means it's good. That is awesome. That was freaking awesome. And I got so much money, you know what? Let's splurge. Let's do some mega drafts. We're on Twitch. Let's see what I get. Ooh, I got a, I got soul stone of, of my arrow girl. And I got a boomer soul stone. Let's see what I get this time. Ooh, Elric Soulstone. Those are hard to get. Yes, yes, a Flora Soulstone. You're guaranteed at least one Soulstone when you do these. Boomer times two. This is the last draft of ten. Flora times one. Awesome. Dude, that is awesome. Holy moly, guacamole. All right. And Elric, oh sweet, Elric can equip his now his new axe, and I can show you guys how fusion works. I'm gonna go ahead and hit fuse. Boom! Hella stat increase. All those items go into him. He gets all those as permanent stats, and his overall ranking goes up. And now I can equip even more gear, thus increasing his stats even greater. Plus 30 physical damage. Plus 18 physical armor. Wow, that was awesome. That really helped me out because Elric keeps dying and he's like my main dude. Alright. Alright. 
So, uh, let's see here. I think that'll just about do it. Ooh, I got another free pull. I'm not going to say no to free. Bing! Red Jade. Yeah, it's a green item. Could be worse. Alright, Dojo Challenges, probably not going to be able to do those. Arena, ooh, I can do the Arena real fast and then call it a day. Daily Merchant for Hire. So this is a tricky thing. Like, I can go into here and look at my, uh... Rager coming soon, but I can look at my Mercenary Camp. I can choose to take these guys out, but I want to leave them in on purpose, because they're kind of low level, 33 and 35. Because other players are hiring my, my, my heroes on a regular basis. And, um, even though my guy's more powerful now, that means only higher level heroes can, can rent him. And I want the lower, I want to help out my, uh, teammates that are lower level than me. Actually, most of these guys are in the high 40s. Oh, oh yeah, there's some low 30s. Okay. 35, 36, 37, 37, 37, 38. You know what? I'm going to do it. Since most of these guys are higher level. I'm going to recall these guys. I get a ton of income. I'll send them out at level 38. Level 38. And I'll close this out. And now I have a boatload of money. I'll claim my reward. Yep, 400k. I'll do one last draft and then we're going to call it a night. Yeah, so the pre-registration page is not live yet. We will be doing a live pre-registration event um, in the coming weeks. We'll definitely be posting that here on Twitch, as well as across social media. Um, here is the information if you want to participate in the uh, beta. That's where you can download the game uh, on Android in, can in Canada. But um, the pre-reg page is not live yet. It'll be live in a week or so. So um, be sure to keep an eye out for that page when it goes live. And uh, red pre-register, so you get a lot of free stuff. Nice. Nice, Goku. That's cool. Awesome. All right, well, that's probably it for today. I'm going to do one more draft here. Let's see if I get something good. Or one more chest opening, I should call it. Got another Gale. And one last one. Another Selene. Ooh, two Selenes. I like that. I got some Soul Stones. Let's see, can I level up though? I doubt it. I got some Gales and Selenes. I can't do Gale. Elric, no. 17, 14, so close. 16, 11, 3, 4 a. Oh, so close, man. So close. Alrighty. I'll hop on over to Dojo. So thank you guys again for participating in our Twitch live stream. We are going to be wrapping it up now. Um, we're going to do a quick little giveaway here. Looks like we have 10 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to do a random number between 1 and 10 on uh, random.org here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't use a number generator app on this device. It's a different device uh, than what I use for NBA AllNet. So I do... Apologize, but we're gonna do a random number generator, and that number is four. So, one, two, three, four. That is he kick three. No, no, it's not. Man, this thing keeps updating. It's Goku six six seven two. Goku, yes, you are the winner. Congratulations. Um, you know what, and since I said your name, Hikik, I apologize. We'll give you a prize anyways, why not? And the prize is going to be 300 diamonds in either game. So it's a free draft in NBA All Net or a free draft in uh, Soul Hunters. So congratulations, 300 diamonds. Go ahead and uh, just let me know your in-game nickname and what server you're on. And which game you would like the prize for. Would you like it in Soul Hunters? We're in NBA All Night. That's why we did two giveaways. Alright. <coughs> Los Angeles server, alright. So I'm assuming that's NBA All Night, so. Actually, it has to be. So I'll send that to you. And, uh. Goku is the other winner. So let me know your 
which game and then which server and your name. Yeah, I just got destroyed. Dang, these physical immunities are just too hard sometimes. Sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you're not. Oh, I should have waited a few more seconds for that blast. Oh dear. Oh dear. Live and let live. Dungeon strike. Ooh, that's right, I can do here abilities again. It's been a little bit of time here. And there are higher levels, so I can give her more stuff. Oh, I'm out of gold, really? Lame! It's because I used it all. That's right, I'll throw in like a jump. Or just jump, or just jump. Nope. I don't have any money to put abilities in anybody either. Yeah. I didn't waste those abilities. All right, cool. Well, that is it for our live stream. Thank you guys so much for participating, and we look forward to seeing you in NBA All Night or in Soul Hunters, depending upon the game that you play. Thank you guys for your continued support, and we'll see you next time. Until then, good hunting.